I'm making you an ELA video today because we're going to continue working on a skill that's kind of tricky, which we've already sort of been practicing. So we've already gone into the text to take evidence out of it. We talked about things like flashbacks, where you had to go and find a quotation that talked about a flashback. Um, characterization, we found quotations to explain what kind of person Brian was, right? We talked about problems and solutions. So we we pulled quotations from the text to illustrate a problem that Brian had. And now we're gonna sort of package that skill all into one of our final writing exercises, which is a little mini essay. Um, and it's going to be all about how Brian has changed because that's one of the major, major things that happens in this book, isn't it? Brian transforms as a character. So I'm just gonna show you what I've made for this. And, uh, I've made this little chart for you. And I'm even gonna go ahead and, and give you a couple examples, okay? Actually, I'm only gonna give you one example, but still, you'll have one. So your task here is to explain, using evidence from the text, how Brian has changed throughout the novel, okay? So for this, you are welcome to go back in through any of the chapters that we've read. And really, that's kind of the best way to do it because if we're talking about how Brian's really changed, we need some evidence from what he was like in the beginning, right? We need to know what Brian was like in the beginning so that we can find other quotations that really explain how he's different later in the book, okay? So I say to you in this little chart, Brian has... I've given you some hints about how Brian's changed. So Brian's learned a lot about life in the wilderness, right? He's developed a lot of new skills. He's changed his mindset. He's changed the way he thinks a number of times. And he's even sort of transformed physically. He's even changed the way his body looks and stuff like that. So you're going to go in and find quotations that show what old Brian used to be like. And I'll just move this down a little bit. Okay, what old Brian used to be like and how Brian is different now, okay? And you're going to find actual quotations that explain those, those two things. So I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna give you one because I went through all the chapters and that's how I do it. I just sort of skim through because while I'm reading the story, anytime that it kind of talks about Brian really changing, I think, oh, that's an interesting moment, right? And then I kind of remember that later. So I've skimmed through the chapters, and when you know what you're looking for, it's not very difficult to do. You'll find those, those things. Um, so I'm gonna give you an example about the physical change that Brian has gone through, okay? I'm gonna show you exactly what I want you to do here. So my video's gonna disappear, but you'll still hear my little voice. Um, so, old Brian. I went back to the very beginning, okay? The very beginning, um, after he's sort of crashed in the plane and he's gotten himself to shore. So this is in chapter seven, and it's describing, it's describing, um, Brian. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a little description. I've got a little bit of information from the text. So he's looking at himself in the water. Okay, the face was cut and bleeding, swollen and lumpy. And then remember when you do this, those three little dots, it means there's more information, but I'm only pulling out the stuff that's really important to me. His eyes were slits in the bites. Okay, then I'm just gonna put chapter seven, so we remember where that's come from. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find a different piece of information that explains how he's changed. So in this first quotation, he's battered, right? He's all swollen, he's got all these mosquito bites all over him. He's really sad and 
and he hasn't figured out yet how to deal with the mosquito bites, right? Or any of those kinds of things. So now I'm going to add a quotation from a little bit later in the book that explains how Brian has really changed, okay? And it goes like this. So this is in chapter 11, and he's, it's really when he's noticing the changes. So he had never been fat, but he had been slightly heavy with a little extra weight just above his belt and at the side. His stomach had caved in to the hunger and the sun had cooked him past burning so he was tanning and his face looked like leather. Okay, so we have, we have beginning Brian, who's just arrived, and I should, there is a little chunk here that also says he's getting really sunburnt, he's all baked and everything, but we have this sort of city Brian, right, who's got a couple little cuts from the plane, and his eyes are all swollen into mosquito bites, and he can barely see, and we know he's a little bit plump, and then Brian changes. He's lost all of this weight, his stomach has caved in, the sun has cooked him, he's deeply, darkly tanned, uh, his face is starting to look like leather. This is one really little change, and it's why I kind of gave you this one, um, because it doesn't talk a whole bundle about how he looks physically. Um, which is why I, I gifted this one to you. But this is what we're going for, okay? So I'll show you quickly. The next thing is mentally and new skills that he's learned. And for these two, I think you'll be able to find lots of examples of how he feels in the beginning of the book mentally versus how he feels at the end of the book. Okay, another great one is skills that he's learned. New skills learned. So what we would want, and I'm going to say it to you, but I'm not going to type it in. What we would want is something like this. After the uh, porcupine accident, where he throws his axe at the wall, right, it says this. Somehow he could get fire from the hatchet. The sparks could make fire. That's all Brian knows in the beginning. In the beginning, he knows somehow he can make fire, okay? And then check out this change. After the hurricane, or after the tornado, um, blows away his fire and ruins everything, listen to this. Brian starts to make a fire again. With his new skill, he had a fire going in less than an hour. The first time it took him like a day and a half. Now he has it going with less than an hour. So that's a great example. In this box here, I would put my quotation that proves he can't make fire in the beginning. And over here, I would put my quotation that shows how much he's changed in relation to the skill of making fire, okay? Um, he, and he has so many skills at the end. You could do quotations about his shelter. In the beginning, he barely even has a shelter. He sits under a tree and feels sad. And later on, uh, he's able to build this amazing weatherproof, animal-proof shelter, right? Another great example is the fishing. He can't even catch a fish in the beginning. He doesn't even notice there are fish in the beginning. And then at the end, he's created this incredible fish pond and he can spear them just with a flick of the wrist, okay? So again, for each of these things, you're going to try to find a quotation from anywhere through the book that talks about what old Brian was like how good he was at skills or how he felt mentally and then you want to find a quotation to show how he's changed throughout the book okay now this might be a bit tough 
but I know that you can do it. Get as many as you can. Shoot for one in each category, and if you're able to, find a few more. Um, it, once you start going through the chapters that we've read, and I know you'll remember moments. As soon as you see this assignment, you'll remember moments like when he was really sad or really depressed, and then a moment when that changed. So collect what you can, get what you can, and then when we come together at the 2 p.m. Zoom meeting, I'm going to ask all of you to share your ideas and share your thoughts, and hopefully by the end, we'll all have really full charts. Because this chart is going to help us plan sort of like our mini essay explaining how Brian has changed. And you guys, I'm so excited for you because I love a little essay. To me, a little essay is like a little puzzle. It's like I have a little jigsaw puzzle in front of me and I have to figure out how all the pieces go together to create this, this beautiful this beautiful piece of writing about something, okay? So I think it's gonna be really, really fun. I, I'm sure that you feel the same way. Um, so again, get as many as you can. If you're struggling, I'll be available during the day so we can meet up and chat more about kind of how this is gonna work out. Um, and then at two, we'll come together, we'll share all of our ideas, okay? Okay, yay. Um, you should have all of the texts with you. So just go back through. Start kind of skimming through. If you already remember an incident, start by looking in the part of the book where you think that thing happened. And I know they'll start coming out at you, okay? Um, okay, have a great day. I'll see you really soon.